Shut up, Barney. Right, so what we're basically going to do now is to rub this boot down using a obviously some water. We'll put some water on there. You can put a bit of soap in that water, that's fine as well. Just so aids the uh, the pad, the paper not getting blocked up. We're going to use some 1500 wet and dry paper. Now what I've been doing, you get a lot of people just use pull a sheet out and they'll try and do the whole car in there. I wouldn't advise that. What I've been doing is actually just using one sheet per panel. So all I'll do then is to get a block. Well, let me just show you what I've got here, first of all. As you can see, this is a Merca 1500 grade wet and dry paper. And all I've got is one of these little sanding blocks. I've got the hard block, but this one just helps going over when you're going around contours and stuff like that. This is one of those uh, sanding blocks which is well worn out and I just use that as a backing pad basically so all I'll do is I'll wrap that around like that there's my pad and I'll wet the panel and we'll start rubbing down so let's go and do that now all right so all we're doing is literally scuffing up this surface I'm just trying to keep away from the the other panel or the edges you could take that edge off actually to be honest with you but I don't know if you can see that there's a white residue which is leaving the actual surface and that white residue is actually the lacquer so again just nice gentle strokes keep it wet you don't want to be scuffing it and what I'll do in a second I'll just do a few more rubs and I'll let you see what you can expect. Now see, I'm not putting no pressure on there, I'm just using the cutting action of the paper. And it, you can feel it gripping every now and again. And I'll let you see in a second what we've actually achieved. Don't forget I've got three coats of lacquer on here, so we shouldn't burn through. You haven't really got to apply any pressure as I say. Just let the cutting action of the paper do the work. Providing you keep it clean, you'll be okay. Right, okay, let's leave that there for a minute. I'll get a bit of paper and wipe that off. And if I wipe that off, we're looking for, as I said, a matte finish compared to the other. Now let's make sure all that's away. And I'll show you what we got. Now, as you can see, that's what we had. That's the orange peel finish. And if I just move that over to there, you can see a totally smooth matte finish. Now, you'll probably see as I get further down where I haven't finished or rubbed to a certain extent, like down here, the further we go down, you can see the orange peel effect start to appear. And as you can see there, for example, right there, there's a slight couple of blemishes which I've got to sand out as well. So, 
as you can see the little bit of rubbing I've done has actually produced a totally flat paint painted surface which will buff up absolutely lovely so I'm just going to continue doing this now so if you see anything like this for example then obviously you haven't gone enough and that can happen if you're using old paper all the time if you've had one sheet of 1500 paper and you try to do the whole car you'll probably end up with this sort of finish and you'll have to rub and rub and rub and get nowhere with fresh paper it doesn't take a, any time whatsoever and that one sheet of paper should do this whole boot area so I'm just going to carry on doing this now and as I say show you the end result Right, I'm just going to give all that a wipe off now and then we'll see what the end result is. There we go, ladies and gentlemen, there's the finished article. I suppose that took me 10 minutes to do that in total. And let's get a closer look now. I'm just going to show you how flat that paint is now. Now, I don't know if you can see, but there is no rippling looking dots at all. Now I'm just going to take you to here because I've left a couple in purposely. And can you see them there? Now, technically speaking, all I need to do there is just to go over that area again with some wet and dry paper until that totally ends up like this sort of surface, for example. But what I'm going to do for the sake of this tutorial is just to leave that as it is. And you're going to see the end result once I buff it up just to show you that you haven't really got to worry too much all I was basically interested in as you know was getting a totally flat surface so the paint doesn't look like it's orange peel effect well, we've actually achieved that now as I say but that odd blemish you're probably not even gonna uh, notice that blemish there for example so I'm gonna leave that and I'm gonna leave the bottom half of the bumper because there's no real need to do that the only part which you normally would do colour sanding, uh, wet sanding on the top coat is the tops of the wings for example like here, the boot lids, the tops of the doors, the bonnet obviously. Those are the sort of areas that you would basically do unless you were creating a show car where you would obviously do the whole car. But this will show that we've got an actual lovely finish now and this is ready now for buffing.